Today we're gonna make a table saw sled with a removable zero clearance insert. That's this thing. This is a fairly simple build and it's an incredibly useful thing to have. I made this one specifically because I needed something to help me build my son's entire bedroom. And it worked great. A sled with a removable clearance insert is useful because it allows you to use a single sled for several different types of cuts without compromising on their quality or safety. Normally, if you use a sled with a dado blade, you're left with a large opening, right? Because, you know, the dado blade just removed three quarter inches of material. And then when you go back to your regular blade, if you wanted to, you have this big hole and that presents um, a safety issue because if you were to try to cut something here, say, right? and it, the offcut fell down into here, then basically you've just created a gun and, and you're gonna fire that thing out like a bullet. Also, even worse or just as bad, your cuts will be lousy because they won't be properly supported and you'll get a ton of blowout. Many people solve this problem by having multiple sleds, but that takes up room and also you have to build a bunch of sleds. With this sled, you just put in a new insert and you're good to go. So let's get started. I figured out the size I want this to be. Feels nice. So 27 uh, this way by uh, I think 42. Yeah, 42 that way. Um, I'm making it out of two pieces of quarter inch Baltic birch plywood. I want there to be like a, like a one inch strip. Let's do inch and a half. One inch and a half. 42. So 42 minus, <laughs> minus inch and a half. It's 40 and a half. You cut that in half, you get 20 and a quarter. Right? I wonder if this is gonna work. I think it's gonna be easier to clamp this, to glue this up if there's something in the middle here keeping everything in check or whatever. Yesterday when I made the little insert to go in here for the glue up, I also cut one, two, three, four, five, six. They fit. Yeah, that'll do. All right, now let's make the fence. These runners are made of white oak, because that's what I had. It's just proud of the surface there. Because I've got this nifty little channel for my replaceable inserts here, uh, I just gotta be careful to get this nice and centered on where the blade's gonna be. I'm talking to you now from the future. Um, I've used this sled for a while, and what I realized is I made a mistake. I centered the blade on the removable insert, but the dado stacks don't expand from the center, they expand in one direction. My right, your left. Yeah. Uh, so the result is that this little cut right here, that's from the regular blade, but then the, bl the dado stack goes over and, and makes a much wider cut. But, there, but I made the insert itself too narrow. So when this gets cut away, there's just like a very small lip to attach the next, you know, the replacement insert to, which is not super great. So if you're gonna make this, you should make your insert at least three inches wide, maybe even four inches. 
that's just a little tip. So I'm gonna set it against the fence. Oh, see, that's why you do dry runs, because sometimes you do stupid things. Or in my case, all the time. So we're just gonna put a few drops of uh, CA glue along here. It doesn't have to hold for very long. It's the screws what are gonna hold it. I'd rather it was a little tight than a little loose. So I'm gonna wax up them runners and then it'll slide back and forth much nicer. Let's, let's do the next thing. Okay, so you'll notice on the table saw I chamfered three edges of this. These two edges are for where your hands go, so it's more comfortable. This chamfer is to go down along the edge over here, so that you know, on the side where you normally make the cuts, so any sawdust will you know, go into there and you won't know, have um, problems with the accurate cuts. And then this. It's just uh, nice and square, so it'll be flush to the back. So I've got it as square as I can by eye. I'm not gonna film this next part because it's gonna take me a while and, and whatever. But uh, the next time you see me, this will be as square as I can get it. And I'll probably have a beard. Okay, so I can hardly believe it. Uh, I got it on the first try. I, I didn't even have to adjust it. Just by eye, somehow managed to get it. I, I'm gonna check it again. Because I double checked it and then I rewatched the video to make sure I was getting the math right because I kind of couldn't believe I got it on the first try. But I did. So then I just went over and I put in a. All right, just to set the record straight, it took me a little bit, but I figured out that I didn't get it right on the first try. I just did the math wrong on the first try and also the second try. <laughs> The thing is, you have to multiply, you have to do all this dividing and stuff, and then you have to multiply that number by the length from the pivot to the end of the thing, and I, uh, of the fence. This will all make sense if you go watch the video, I'll link it below. Um, I'm not gonna try to explain it, because clearly I don't understand it that well. If you don't do that multiplication, the number you're getting is much lower than the actual error you're getting. So I thought I had like nailed it on the first try, but in reality, I just didn't do all my homework. So, um, just, you know, to be fully up front. I don't know if you can see all these, see these red spots. When you do this, if you mess it up, you can't reuse those screw holes because it'll, it'll just pull the goddamn thing back out of square. So as you can see, anywhere, there's like a, sm a sad face there. Anywhere that's red, those are screw holes I had to remind myself not to reuse. So, uh, yeah. On this channel, just like J Cats Moses, uh, I do not hide my mistakes. <laughs> I guess I laugh at them? I don't know. Okay, back to it. A little bit of paste wax on these old uh, runners down here. It's gonna wax the whole damn thing but I'm not gonna make you watch that. One other thing worth noting is uh, you also wanna make a replaceable insert for the fence. I forgot to film that because I forgot to do it and then later I did it. Um, 
The simplest way, what I did was I just added another piece onto my fence um, and made the insert in there. And the reason is I'm using, I use this sled to build furniture and to do my like fine cuts and they need to be backed up and beautiful. So just take one of these guys, slot it in there. I'll put a little double-sided tape on it and then I have a perfectly fresh start each and every time, which is awesome. Now I have a perfectly zero clearance slit. Any cuts I make on here will be very nice. All right, so there you go. That's the cross cut sled. Pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy with how square it is. I'm pretty happy with the zero clearance insert. And I can't wait to use it. Thank you for watching. Please hit like and subscribe and hit the notify button. Well, you know, you know how to use YouTube. Bye.